Well, it's about time you made a video. Hey guys, how's it going? And, uh, well, I figured I better get something out before uh, everyone forgets I exist. Anyway, I was going through some stuff of mine, as, as I do. I've got an awful lot of stuff to go through. And I'm really trying to clean this place up. And I came across some stuff that maybe the phone guys can help me with. A couple of modules. And we'll get a nice close-up view of these in a minute, but uh, these technically belong to a friend and because I've got, I'm storing some of his stuff here. But I figure, yeah, maybe I can get some information on these. Let's look at them. I believe they are Bell System Western Electric because, well, they've got an awful lot of Western Electric looking numbers and stuff all over them. But... The thing that's very interesting is the packaging. And as you know, <laughs> uh, Bell Labs was really good at coming up with weird ways to make things. And this is no exception. Now, these cards, uh, maybe you guys can tell me somewhere in the comments what these are from. They are... Probably 1960s. In fact, I think this one has a date. Yeah, is that 1961? Kind of looks like it ought to be. What are these from? The, these, these are clearly uh, Western Electric numbers. You can see on these little modules, which is kind of the in interesting thing about these, is uh, you can see, are these like, hybrid modules or something like that there is a little transistor you can see there i can't quite tell what the number is in fact let me get my pointer out well pointer is a pencil but you can see little transistor and they they are western electric transistors because they have that little uh very distinctive exhaust tip that they had yes transistors with an exhaust tip Western Electric did that for a lot of their early types from the late 50s and into the early 60s. But, yeah, what are these things? Were they, uh, hybrid modules? You can see there are these strange little things here. What are those? Those resistors? Capacitors? And clearly they've got some interesting sort of wiring <laughs> they're, they're actually not wires they're straps and if we turn it around you can see yeah there's a bit of a pattern here somewhat repeated because well these are whatever 11 c's are yeah do any of you guys know what these things are i suspect they're just little amplifier modules this was a little too early for integrated circuits. And, uh, hey, if any of you guys can tell me what these modules are from, this one's 92. And uh, this one's 91. And you can see they're similar, although this one has slightly different modules. Or the, well, they're gold transistors for one, and those sort of look like resistors, don't they? Uh, and also the number is 11G, not 11C. And yeah, being the Bell system, you know, there are probably six dozen different types of things they call an 11G. Everything from a transistor to a bug sprayer. That's uh, just the way they work. They were terrible at numbering things. Uh, what are these from? Are these early central office sort of uh, modules? You can see uh, they have, um, looks like places where you could stick probes, maybe very special looking probes, because you can see the traces go under that plastic, well, I guess that's a panel, if you will. Um, yeah, I bet you those are probe points. Unfortunately, this one is missing the nice gold fingers. Let's look at these. These are very unique fingers, too. They just kind of float there. You can see, being Western Electric, they <laughs> have an incredibly thick plate of gold on them. 
Yeah, the duller the gold, the thicker is the plate is, is the general rule of thumb. And also, look at these little triangle cutouts. There and there, Q1A, Q1D. Bet you those had transistors. And it looks like they were indeed removed. And very odd how they would, I guess, bring all the leads down one triangular hole and then spread them out and solder them almost surface mount like, not through hole. <laughs> I guess it's like through the hole. You only get one hole. Uh, I guess someone snarfed the transistors out of this. And yeah, you can see this one's uh, probably 1961 as well. So I'm a little clueless about what these things are. Uh, I don't really have access to real good Bell System technical data books or anything like that. And this might be the type of thing where... Hey, it didn't really, didn't really escape the lab or, or the central office. Uh, but hey, maybe some of you phone guys out there might know. I'm curious. I'm very curious about these. Uh, but the, uh, the phone system stuff uh, is very interesting. And also, it's one of my great interests is in oddball packaging of electronics and this certainly counts in fact if you want to know why i am such a big fan of uh, well ibm stuff it all go gets down to uh well, the, the genesis of my interest if you will in ibm stuff is the packaging because a very long time ago must be ugh, mid 80s 87, I don't know, somewhere around there. Back when I was living in Chicago, I grew up around Chicago, right outside Chicago. The Museum of Science and Industry there had an exhibit uh, sponsored by IBM. It was about data processing. And uh, they had a bunch of their old machines there. And it was a very nice exhibit. It was like a morgue. No one ever went there. But I remember going there a couple of times and completely geeking out. And then this, I was in, well, late, late years of high school, I guess. What was I, a senior? And uh, seeing all these neat machines, but the electronics was so alien looking with the little square aluminum boxes and water cooling. Yeah, because I think they had a 360 uh, Model 30 there. And they may have had a 650. You know, it's probably stuff that IBM just can't, they dragged out of their archives, you know, when they had the machines kicking around. Uh, but that's what got me so interested in IBM stuff was the weird packaging. And that, to this day, is I find that one of the most interesting thing about IBM stuff, look at the back now, um, is the packaging. And yeah, Western Electric Bell System stuff counts too. Because it's all very weird. Uh, a little bit of a side view there. Oh, one other thing that was, I thought, very interesting about the IBM exhibit. It, it didn't last real long. It was only there a couple of years, maybe. And the other thing is, is no one seems to remember it. No one seems to remember it. But uh, like I said, it was like a morgue in there. No one ever went <laughs> in the exhibit hall to add the IBM stuff. But uh, they had a very interesting way of displaying things, but to kind of keep your fingers out. Instead of being having things behind glass panels, they just had like these uh, monofilament lines, very thin, transparent, like like fishing line, uh, strung in in uh, not really a grid, but uh, just just uh, uh, parallel and about an inch apart. So it clearly made it. Don't put your fingers in there, and but. You didn't get glare, and it was really easy to uh, to ignore. I've only ever seen that sort of displaying of artifacts there. Ah, anyway, a side note. Back to this thing. Yeah. So, can any of you guys tell me more about this? Like, did this go to an early transistor-based switch or some other central office equipment? Uh, anyone have data on these modules? These 11 Cs and 11 Gs. I mean, they're clearly of the same sort of technology, but 
also clearly have some different function. Uh, hey, leave a comment and uh, let's, let's talk about this. Anyway, I uh, hope you like the video. Yeah, blah, 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 blah about bells and stuff. Um, hey, I'll try and make more videos, but I am uh, trying to keep the business afloat. So I really have very little time. If you want to help me out, hey, drop a buck or so in the Patreon bucket. I'll leave a link. Or, and uh, uh, well, you can also actually uh, PayPal me directly, as a friend actually did. Uh, Richard, hey, hi, Richard. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, you can do that, too, if you would like. And you can, uh, you can comment, or you can uh, contact me um off off youtube or whatever see how uh, to see how to do that but hey patreon's good hey and even just like and spread and blah 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 all right any of you bell system co type techies or engineers let me know all right i'll talk to you guys later